I learned from the best, Captain. Remember to switch the engines to warming mode. So they won't freeze up while we're parked on the ground. I'm already on it. Let's unload the supplies and give Professor Nat Quick his checkup. Ah, uh, hmm. Throat looks good. Ears look good. <laughs> and reflexes are Arctic Fox Quick. You're in fine shape, Professor. <laughs> good, good. Now. Who would like a nice cup of hot cocoa with extra marshmallows? Oh, that sounds wonderful. This is our territory. We don't share it with nobody. So move along. Uh, don't worry, we don't want your territory. But you need to get off this mountain. It's not safe. Don't be silly. We're mountain goats. We always graze here. This is where our food is. See all the rings on my horns? That means I'm a very old goat. <clears throat> I've lived on this mountain for a long time, and I'm telling you, we're perfectly safe. But there are rock slides heading your way. Ha ha, says you. I don't see any rock slides. Now go back where you came from and leave us alone. Um, 
Please, if you stay where you are, you'll get hurt. You need to come down the mountain. I've always heard that mountain goats are stubborn. Then you were right. Are you all right? Well, it's a good thing I have these tough hooves. With special pads for gripping. I see what you mean. Seems like we are in danger up here. We need to move, now! Agreed! Follow me! Everyone, this way! <laughs> Better hurry, that rock slide is coming fast! Jump! <laughs> That's it, keep moving! <laughs> well, hold on, Pawnee. I know you're a good jumper, but you're not a mountain goat. We don't usually do this kind of thing, but I imagine you two need a little help getting across, so, uh, hop on! Thanks! Very kind of you! Let's go! Yet. Then we'd better keep moving! Tweak, get ready! Ready, Cap! Get in front of the gun! I'll cover you! Alrighty! Follow me! All yours, Cap! Thanks, Tweak! Hold on, everyone! This could get bumpy! with the algae, we can pull it free. That's brilliant. Just have to make a knot. Well, hurry it up, partner. It's real cold down here. Ooh. Okay. I finished tying the knot and... There. Oh. Oh. I never was too good at tying knots. Me neither. But I know someone who is. Periwinkle! Hi, Mum. Why are you in the dark? Oh, you know, just doing some deep diving with your Uncle Shellington. And Clem. Cool. Pettywinkle, could you show us how to make that knot you learned to tie? The bowline knot. That's the one. Sure. I've been practicing. You make a loop here, then you put the end through and wrap it around like this. Look, Mum, it worked. Oh, Pettywinkle. I'm so proud of you. Now try yours. All right. Uh, through the loop and around. Uh, oh, Perry, it worked. Oh, thanks. No problem. Bye-bye, Mum. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. <laughs> Go. We did it. Oh. Now, let's get this back to the others. Good idea, but which way do we go? Uh, I think I came out from there. Hmm. Wrong way, dead end. I'm not sure how much longer Clem can last down here. It's too cold. To tell the truth, I'm so cold I can't even f f feel my fins. Shillington, are you all right? Did you find Pearl and Clem? I found them, and the algae. But no, we can't find our way out. It's like a maze down here. Aha! Uh -huh. Maybe I can show you the way. It's so dark down here, I can't see a thing. Wait, I can see that. Whatever incarnation that is. Dash his camera light. 
stop to lift. <laughs> Just in time. Put the algae rock in and follow the light back up. Thanks, Dashi. I don't suppose you're in trouble, are you? You mean, apart from dangling off a ledge? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I've got you, matey! <laughs> oh, sweet. That was a close one. Ah, there you are. As I was saying, cave winters are likely to jump out to anyone who surprises them. Yes, all right. We're kind of the jump first and ask questions later type of weather. No worries, me hearty. That's the pirate way, too. All right, back into the dark for me. So long. Well, looks like we just went on one big wild wetter chase. All the wetters we found seemed okay to me. But that bird definitely told me he saw a wetter in trouble. Wait, what did that bird look like? Um, let me think. Uh, pink legs, uh, black wings, and a thin bill. The black wing stilt. That's the one. And they only live in an area near Lake Tasman. Which means we've got to go right back to where we started. That wetter has got to be around here somewhere. We're going to have to split up. Good idea, matey. Come on, wetter. Where are you? Whoa. Shh. Keep your voice down. Um, my ears are up here. Weird. Mine are in my legs. Really? That's splashing. Are you in trouble by any chance? Well, someone wants to eat me for dinner, so I guess that would be a yes. Who would want to eat a wetter? Uh, you know us rats. We'll eat absolutely anything. <gasps> rats! <laughs> Hang on tight! Quasi, Shellington, I found our wetter. Ran into a bit of a rat problem. Oh no, we're trapped! <laughs> this is probably not a good time to tell you I'm a terrible swimmer. Look at this! Two for the price of one. Think you can make the jump? Not really, mate. Giant wetters are also terrible jumpers. Other wetters are good at jumping, but not us. We're just too heavy. Then I'll jump for us. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, mate. You saved the day. Although we are on a melting iceberg in the middle of a lake, and unlike giant wetters, rats are really good swimmers. It wetters mine. Hey, no, come on, ice out first. <laughs> it's been nice knowing you. A party patty, anyone? <laughs> nice and crunchy. Oh, I'll give it a try. <laughs> Never leave a matey behind. That's the pirate way. 